I will get Shadow to walk with the dog. I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. After showing them video footage of the results and progress that we made, I wanted them to see it in person. So we met up with Shadow's arch enemy. Here you can see that even the arch enemy was looking to challenge with the eye contact. I wanted to show them the importance. The gentleman's body was in the way, so Shadow didn't react. Here, on the way back, his body wasn't in the way, and you can see the eye contact is what set Shadow off a little bit more, and that dog would have been set off as well. This clip is from the original evaluation, uh, and I wanted to make sure that he no longer handled a dog like this. It was something that we wanted to work on and I wanted uh, him to practice. So we meet up with his girlfriend's dog. We use his girlfriend's dog and my dog, hand Shadow off to him. And from this point on, it was just a matter of getting him the hands-on experience so he could do it on his own. Starting with the muzzle, his goal is to just keep Shadow focused on moving forward and not allow Shadow to fix it so that he could learn to start coexisting with other dogs and not going crazy every time he sees a dog. It shouldn't be a big deal. Just like when we see people on the street that we don't know, we don't go crazy. There's no need for him to go crazy every time he sees a dog. So it's just conditioning him the same way he sees anything else in the city. The next step was to get him to do it with the muzzle off, which he couldn't believe, and you'll see that right here. Now, for safety reasons, we put the muzzle back on as I hand more dogs off to him. I wanted him to experience walking shadow with at least one other dog, but he wasn't 100% confident, so I didn't want to take things too far. We put the muzzle back on shadow, but we still see amazing results and success even after we come across this lady who has no control of her dog as we try and walk around her and she blocks us, continuously says sorry, but just stays there because her dog is 100% in control. Well, this is calm though. This is good. He couldn't have handled this any better. Kept a little bit of distance, still worked through the problem, and then walked through keeping Shadow on course. Perfectly executed. At this point, all these guys need to do is maintain what they've seen, what they've witnessed and what they've done on their own here today, and everything will start to fall into place. If they can stay dedicated and committed enough to maintaining this structure for this dog's lifestyle, then Shadow will remain on the path to becoming a dream come true canine.